Now take a look at this fireball lighting up the sides of Southern California last night. Fortunately, it did not cause all the problems that the, the meteorite did in Russia last week when fragments hit a city injuring thousands and causing a lot of damage there. But our own streak in the sky certainly has a lot of people talking. We sent NBC4's Gordon Tokamatsu to Griffith Observatory today to find out what scientists have to say about this. And Gordon, do they have an explanation? Well, they do, Colleen, and it's not what you might think. You know, these fireballs do generate a lot of headlines. This one caught on video, seen by plenty of people here in Southern California. So what's really going on up there? Well, we came here to the observatory to ask one expert who says, relax, the sky is not falling. Maybe you were one of the 50 or so people who contacted the American Meteor Society last night. This is video posted on the organization's website of what many called a green fireball. Their map shows a cluster of reports from people literally hundreds of miles from each other. But what you're really seeing is a glowing column of gas. The surprise here? The piece of material that caused that glowing mass was likely no larger than a basketball. It's extremely visible because of the tremendous heat that is generated. Earth's atmosphere is a marvelously protective thing, says Dr. Ed Krupp of Griffith Observatory. Because of it, most meteors are blasted to smithereens by the time they get anywhere near us. Even the ones that put on a show like this one that streaked across Bay Area skies about a week ago. How do we know the atmosphere is protecting us? Well, Krupp says, consider this. Somewhere on the planet, there's an object like that entering the atmosphere at least once a day. Of course, the much larger chunk of space rock that streaked across the skies over Siberia a week ago was unusually large. But it, too, likely never reached Earth intact. The dozens of injuries and building damage came from a shock wave created when it disintegrated. To make a point, Dr. Krupp showed us this meteorite, which weighs more than eight pounds despite its small size. It struck Earth some 50,000 years ago. And this could do some damage. Yeah, you don't have to worry, though, about getting killed by a meteorite. So what are the odds of you actually getting hit by a meteorite here on Earth? Well, by some estimates, it's one in several trillion. So your chances of winning the lottery several times over or getting hit by lightning are much greater. Live at Griffith Observatory, Gordon Tokuma.